acquisition, activation, retention, referral, revenue. These are the five stages of our marketing framework. This framework was coined by Dave McClure of 500 Startups, and believe me, it does not only apply to startup companies. This can be easily implemented into destination marketing, tourism, or business and economic development companies. Now, let's take a minute and just look at the framework as a whole. Acquisition, these are users coming to your website for the first time. These are people hearing about your destination for the first time. Activation, this is the step that a lot of people miss. For every $92 in ad spend, the average company spends about $1 in on-site optimization, and that's according to HubSpot. Now, activation basically asks the question, when someone is on your site, what goal do you want them to take, and how do you get them to take that action? Retention, so this is a big one. Retention is once they've taken a step and said, yes, I've raised my hand, I'm interested in visiting, I'm interested in getting more information, uh, how do you keep them interested? How do you perhaps continue to send them packets? If you're an e-commerce company, I know we're talking tourism, but if you're an e-commerce company, this is repeat visitors, repeat customers. So perhaps as a destination marketing organization, you can focus on repeat visitors, repeat, uh, repeat tourists. Referral this is a huge one that a lot of people miss. Now referral is basically how can you use word of mouth to harness the power of tourism? Uh, you have you have evangelists, you have people that love your destination, that own a vacation home there and bring their friends. These are the folks that you want to find ways to possibly reward and to let them know that, hey, you are a VIP visitor. VIP visitor, there could be something there. And of course, revenue. Measure what matters. How do you track the revenue or the economic impact of your tourism marketing or your economic development marketing? Now in this video, we're focusing specifically on the acquisition channel. So that first block of the framework, often in tourism, is considered to be the most important. This is how you communicate your value proposition to first-time visitors, to first-time people who have ever heard of your destination, or perhaps people who have always been thinking about maybe visiting there but haven't taken that first step. So let's talk acquisition. As we expand this framework, we can notice quickly that there's a lot that goes into the acquisition channel. Any one of these separate individual traction channels uh, could be its own department or could be its own full-time job. So which channels in the acquisition stage do you want to test first? Gabe Weinberg of Traction uses something called the bullseye method, and here's a quick image of what that looks like. The bullseye method basically states there's 19 different ways in the acquisition channel that you can get people to find out about your business. Your role is not to test all 19 at once and hope that one of them works. Your role is to, as a marketing executive or our role as a marketing firm is to strategically choose between three to five that we believe this has the best chance of succeeding and then making sure we can answer the question, well, what is good? That sounds so simple, but in practice, it can be a lot more difficult. Here's an example. We're running a paid social ad, so we're targeting people in your demographic that you believe, hey, here's a really good opportunity. Let's pretend you're Austin, Texas, and you're thinking, Nashville gets all the bachelorette parties. We think we have a really great scene uh, for those types of events, for those types of parties. We want to we wanna recruit more bachelorette parties to, to come to Austin. So that's our demographic. You know, we can find newly engaged, wedding planning, uh, you know, females, ages, whatever to whatever, and we can start to show them ads. Now that's great, and we can report back to you and say, guess what, five million people saw your ad on Facebook, and everybody can high five and pat themselves on the back. This is the way that a lot of marketing firms or marketing directors sort of report these metrics. Now, that's great that a lot of people are seeing your ad. Of course you want your message to, be, to, to, to get to the masses. What's more important though is measuring what